I need a moment for the two of us. Minsk puts on quite a show of brawn, even if there's no brain worth mentioning. I mean, I hate to judge the proverbial book, but that oaf may be all cover and no pages. Of all the places I expected would find this Minsk, crawling from the broken jaws of a mimic wasn't high on my list. What's life without a few surprises, eh? Copper for your thoughts. <sighs> One day I'll catch a break. grow tired of these false faces. Every corner we turn, another. And now it is my face they use to turn Minsk against us. I am sorry, but... I am just tired. Ha! <laughs> Bastard. When I left Minsk to this fate, I believed I had no choice. I believe it still. We were ignorant of our enemy, unarmed against the cult. I made the right decision, but I do not like how easily I made it. Minsk would have never left me behind, no matter what happened. That is his problem entire. The past century left Minsk unchanged. And so he believes the world has never changed, that I have not. You saw the fool, hanging on the doppelganger's every word for no other reason than it wears my face. No. But snotting into my sleeve while there is still work to do is. Come then. We need a lead on where these shapeshifters have fled to. Let's see what hints they left behind in the vault. Minsk. He seemed to believe that doppelganger was truly Jahira. A sure sign he's being manipulated. Minsk is being tricked. By the hells, we've got to rip him away from that shapeshifter. Minsk believes a doppelganger to be Jahira. He is being manipulated, I am all but certain. I am loath to admit it. But if we can pacify Minsk, he may be a worthy companion. Any man who can resist being digested by a mimic may even give an elder brain food for thought. corpse regards you lifelessly. Murder! Obviously. 
He was short, dressed in red.
give up now. Gods, what a mess. Sacrifice or some kind of display? Given by the state of the leg, this must be part of the clown. Seems simple enough. in a bloody month to talk about this book. Now, I personally love the book setting. Twisty corridors, flickering candles. Sparky! Sparky! Oh, we need to go home for tea! Ugh! He won't listen, and he's too fast to catch. Stupid dog. legs too. I bet you couldn't catch him either. Good luck. He's the fastest dog in the world. You said you wanted to chat, my lord. Yes. I did want to chat. And what did you want to talk about, my darling? Well, I asked you that. The dog's excited fervor wanes at your beckoning. It looks around for its master, ready to leave.
Joy and stone, compliments of stony and bony. I have something to ask. Absolute this end of the world that I well met, citizen. Oh, I mean fellow citizen, I guess. Sorry, not used to retirement. having a chat, my angel. Alderan, the city's founder, gazes out to sea. My love? Yes. I did want to chat, Wendell. What did you want to talk about, my... Right here, just one month ago, my Eugenie agreed to our courtship. Ah, it's a good place for romance. Take it from me. Though I must admit, all the clankery from the flaming fists dampens the mood somewhat. I'm sorry for Wendell. He does get a touch, uh, over-effusive about our courtship. Pay him no heed. You said you wanted to chat, my love? Yes. I did want to chat, Wendell. What did you want to talk about, my darling? Well... Work to be done. Someday I will sit down. I mean it. Quick and quiet. Be we predator or prey. Would be ambushers squatting those bushes ahead. I think it's so amazing. The air is ripe with magic. I know Yes. Impossible sometimes, Wendell. Impossible. Stage in this park, you know. So much better. There were certainly less fists about. It's only been a month, Wendell. Of course, you remember our first date. But what a perfect no one back home will ever believe this. Right, darling? Right. You know, I really don't over. think I've We're ever through. felt this way about the discussion. Before. I remind you again, Wendell. We redden our steel by the light of day in his name. You are our lamb, ready for slaughter. Lady Orin asked us to test you, but I think you'll fail. What say you, little lamb? Let this murder be Lest I turn it for you. Let's get this over with.
standing, no matter what you heard. It is already over. I just thought you might need assistance, I... You feel an all-too-familiar squirm in the recesses of your mind. The fist has a tadpole, but something's off. Not I. We. And we do not serve. Defective. Very well. Another offering to Baal. Blades bared. cannot bear us turns to liquid listen close we learn we grow loosen our clumsy bindings aid us necromancer dead changeling and tyrant remain at odds kill them you have a place in my grand design what what happened I do I taste copper? Bloody hell! Who were that lot? And the captain! She's dead! Something good here, I hope. Can't 
not slow down. Something's on my mind. He has twice the kills you did at that age. He knows the seven major archeries, the blind spots, everything. That mind flare is done for. <laughs> Forgive me, I was speaking to myself. A habit solitude has encouraged. Goldbraith Stredivas, Mind Flayer Hunter. My son is tracking one of the beasts as we speak. You don't know my boy. He's twice the hunter I am and the best son a man could ask for. I'd be by his side, but an Illithid trap left me retired. Permanently. My son has taken up the mantle. He fights tooth and nail every single day. I only pray it's enough. That I've done enough. It is rare to meet someone who doesn't fear mind flayers. You remind me of an old friend, a hero of his time. Here, he gifted me this. Call it thanks for setting me at ease. They won't win, you know, the mind flares. Not with my son fighting the good fight, and you. Recipe for disaster. But you know what? I'm learning to enjoy the taste of chaos. Count me in. My children. My sweet ones. What have they done to you? I'm hungry, father. I'm so hungry. It hurts, father. The hunger. It never stops. Please, do you know of anything that can be done? I've been fighting it, but I think you're right. Better that than they start feeding off humans. At least I'm not alone. I... 
I could not have borne that eternity. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for everything. seems not to notice you as you approach. She's as intent on examining a peculiar stone as she is unbothered by the corpses littered on the ground. Ah, this must be the girl Arabella. Hey! I had a feeling you'd show up. It's sort of our thing, like it's fate or something. Check out the stone. It's magic. Incredible, right? Flooded with memories of the distant past, creatures slain, lovers reunited, spells crackling through the air. The stone holds records of all who have passed by it. Arabella is collecting them. It's as natural as breathing for her. And I've only scratched the surface. I want to know everything. Bone Man was right. The Weave will take care of me. I just need to listen. Bandits came at me with daggers. They didn't know who they were messing with. Yep, and I like it that way. Bone Man told me to follow the weave, to let it guide me. I've learned a lot thanks to him, and I'm still learning. Don't worry about me, I'll be just fine. I'll see you soon enough. Bone Man said so. does. nothing. What's this? A heretic in our midst! Your death! In the Dreadlord's name!
try to make it swift. Nothing will stand in my way. Waste a step. Oh, I curse to put my hands on everything. There is still enough to be done this day. Another absolutist come to see what we did to poor old Sarin. Your god took her mind, cultist, so Bereki took her head, and I burned the flesh from her bones. And now you come to interrupt the funeral rites. I... Yes, cousin. An excellent idea. Cousin says we will take you in return. He says you look just like kindling for Sarin's funeral pyre. I took my friend's life. But only after your god took her soul. Sarin, Bereki, and I, we were the three finest thieves in Baldur's Gate. We broke into the offices of Gortash, discovered he was with the Absolute too. Your fellow cultists hunted us, so we hid down here. We were safe, and so was our loot, until the darkness soured Sarin's mind. She kept our treasure from us said Bereki and I had gone strange. Hush, cousin. Sarin turned into a cultist herself, so we did what we had to. Bereki wept until his voice was gone, and then he was gone too, leaving only me to conduct Sarin's rites. And my cousins here, you cannot conduct the rites without a clan to bear witness. Or some fuel for the fire. <laughs> good. That is good. She deserves more than me. Pay your respects as you pass, then, and do not come back.
This is Sarin's final resting place, and a killing ground for all who come to disturb her. Quick word. Ah, a friendly face at last. Are you going to the party as well? I know, a bit strange, isn't it? But then you have to be open to trying new things. The venue's called The Palace. Not sure what it stands for, but it sounds very exclusive. My date's supposed to meet me here, but there's no sign of him. You haven't seen him, have you? Pale, skinny, extremely piercing eyes. Looks a bit like your friend here. Oh dear. I assure you, it's not. It's funny. He was ever so keen for me to come. He didn't seem the type to cancel. Normal. Mostly. Didn't have much of an appetite at dinner. Though, he said he was saving himself for tonight. He was so enthusiastic. I don't understand why he hasn't shown up. Now you mention it, he brought his own wine with him to the mermaid last night. Strange smell it had. Kind of metallic. You know what? I might give this party a miss. Plenty more fish in the Chionthar, as they say. If you see him, don't tell him I was here. Just tell him I, um, I wasn't ready to be in a relationship. I'm sure he'll understand. Still me, even after everything. Better not be cursed. Light on my feet. Anything of use?
gods are watching me. Let's see. Penitent looks at you silently, expectantly. The penitent doesn't respond, holding your gaze almost unblinkingly with his. The penitent doesn't respond, holding your gaze almost unblinkingly with his. The penitent doesn't respond, holding your gaze almost unblinkingly with his. There is the slightest flicker of acknowledgement in his eyes. Penitent blinks, you think. You are dismissed. Looking ahead. have seen everything. Stack 
bag of bones up there. That was his friend. So I shouldn't have had a nibble. No, it's a to avoid it. Just as I was getting bored, our Lord sends us a little diversion. Worms have use for you. is set. 
All's well that ends. All the coin seems to be there, if a little blood stained. You lot are enthusiastic about your lord's work. Our lady. We serve only the absolute. Oh, silly me. We Zen to him are so long past our own godly roots, I'm afraid I forget the half of them. But you, I know. When did you start worshipping gods? Did they give your wee rodent a worm friend, too? <coughs> Rodent! Enough! You will show the Stone Lord proper respect, and you will return to the Guild Hall and do as we have paid you to. Of course. I only thought. Wait. Lop all you wish, little fish. But Minsk has caught you! On that note, good luck. The job will be done by the time you get to the Guild Hall. You have an evil, much uglier twin sister? Minsk does not like this.
depart. War is an old woman's game. Against the darkness swarming, his senses a single light glows. Rage, flaring brighter every moment. Can't her. He won't stay down for long. Tell your Eurylithi to protect him from the Elder Brain's influence. Quickly! No. This one will not aid our cause. Get rid of him. Foolish. He is too unpredictable. He will only be a hindrance to us. No, I will not be coerced into protecting him. You do not see what I do. His thoughts, his mind, pure chaos. The Mind Flare pours poison in your ear, I think. Tell it I will tear the prism from your grasp and throw it into the deepest lava pit I can find. Long after our bones are dust and ash, the walls of its prison will still be burning. Now help my friend! She bluffs. Surely she would not risk the fate of all for one simple life. Fine. Have it your way. His mind unfolds beneath yours. A still lake pulls you down into its depths. Images flash by, battles fought, and friends fallen. His rage grows colder, burrows deeper, as a familiar face crystallizes before you. Jahira... You killed her! You are being dramatic. The instant's hesitation is enough. With a sensation of terrible rending, something vast and nameless falls away from his mind. There. It is done. Jaira? I do not understand. Good. That means you're back to your old ways. We have a lot to discuss. But first... You have someone to thank. In the sudden silence, your minds merge once more. 
More memories, sensations, but passing too quickly for you to track. In the same breath, you share everything that happened to you. The Nautiloid, the Absolute, the Chosen of the Dead Three. You... You saved Minsk. While he danced like a Mind Flayer's meat puppet. Why? <laughs> Suggested. You do well to heed her. Jahira was very wise. Even before she was very old. There is someone you must meet. He is... Uh, he is... Uh, where is he? He's on his way! What's on your mind? I question the wisdom of that decision, but so be it. I'll be in the ca Never wanted the easy path. Where are you? Squeak, so I might know you are My friend, from our brief sharing of skulls, I know you have faced many strange beings. But none like this. Whatever happens, show no fear and stay your hand. Trust in Minsk. Minsk finds that the less thinking he does, the easier the trusting comes. Wait! You gaze into Minsk's soul and see his foul crimes. You smell the stench of evil upon him, pointy claws primed, ready to scratch out his eyes. I am sorry, my friend. I am at the mercy of your faultless justice. Now, if you must burrow through my blackened heart, I am ready. No? You are certain? Oh, such boundless compassion. You are all heart, and whiskers, and cute little nose. Uh, you are right, of course. There is still much evil for Boo and Mince to stamp out. But we need not fight it alone. I have a new face to show you. But it is not a villainous one for the clawing, understand? You, this is Boo. And Boo, meet you? No, it is a hamster. A miniature giant space hamster. Fear not, you will learn the difference in time. Those villains locked Boo away, lest his righteous gaze cause their tadpole to flee in terror. Now we are together again. All will be exactly as... Boo! Why do you use such language? Ah, uh, once more, my hamster proves himself my greater half, and makes the path clear when my mind is fuzzier than his tiny bottom. He says we will join with you, and cleanse Baldur's Gate of Evil! Together! Get comfortable, Boo. We go to battle and... <laughs> to glory or glorious death. Here we 
go. A humble turnip, preserved by drying. A fine friend. I can forgive him his love of turnips. A worn but still capable warhammer, sized for a halfling. A wood carving of a pair of wings, like an eagle's but longer somehow. She went in search of new wings. A mailed fist in the fire cam armor style. Much of honor and faith, but he fought like a berserker when it counted. My boot craves the crunch of unvirtuous nethers. I shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. What's inside? <laughs> 